Hello again, Trisha. Um, I have some more questions for you, if that's okay. Of course it's okay. Good, good. So um, I found this uh, open source project, which is Monolog. This is kind of the de facto um, login library for PHP. Um, really well maintained and really well done. But I haven't really looked at this piece of code for a while. This is the normalized formatter. And I've noticed that somebody's added this if block in. Um, and I wanted to sort of find out more about that now. Part of the purpose is I wanted to demonstrate that you can right click in the gutter and annotate. This is a really cool feature that is, I think a lot of people don't know about in the um, IntelliJ, uh, in the IDEA IDs, where you can right click and annotate and it tells me information about when something was added and who it was added by. So here you can see this is the line I'm interested in, uh, 73. And if I mouse over this, you can see that it'll tell me the commit, the date, the author, so Nils, added this and then the commit message which in my case here is really good um, one of the best commit messages I've seen because it tells me exactly why this was added um, and, and the whole problem around that it that it solves so this is really cool and I use this quite a lot but I understand there's some more um, sort of comprehensive or more interesting things you can do with the sort of annotate uh, panel as well so I was wondering if you could help me out there Absolutely. Um, I agree that annotate is a really useful feature and um, I use it all the time. It's not super self-explanatory, so it's not um, it's not clear that annotate is going to give you the, the history, the sort of git blame, if you like. Yes. Um, so then when you open it up, obviously, like you showed, you can see who's who made which changes to what. So I just want to find an interesting change. So we'll share your screen first, I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I agree. Annotations, the, an the annotate thing here is underutilized. It's not clear what it's for. It doesn't really show that it's the sort of git blame functionality. And um, and it's super useful. It gives you an idea of who made which changes and, and when that happened. But there's more that you can do. So if I want to have a look at these changes here, for example, um, I can see, like uh, Gary showed, the, the commit message there. But if I click on it, you get more things that you can do with it as well. So you see the full commit. And you, you can do things like if you open up the diff, then what, you, what you're seeing there is the diff between um, the changes that went into that particular commit versus the commit before then. So you're seeing just the changes that went in. And you can see what happened here is this person decided to create a factory method for the, for the accumulator for whatever reason. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can see those changes. You can also see this one gives you the diff of this change that went in versus your local file. So you can see all the changes that have happened to the local version of your file since that change went in. So I can see how much has it evolved since then. Um, is it maybe time to make some changes? You know, is it um, is it all right to to get rid of maybe something that you see in there? So that this is the context of that commit versus your current code. Cool. Yeah, it's a bit pixelated my end, but we can see what you're doing. So that's fine. Cool. Um, the final thing which I think is really useful, there's a bunch of other stuff here you can play with too. Uh, the final thing which I think is really useful is copy revision number. So that's the ID of this commit that contained these things. So I've copied it. I'm going to close this window. As usual, I'm going to open my favorite window in uh, in this whole series of, of the Git stuff, um, which is the log. And the log shows me the history of everything that's happened in this project. Now, if I paste in that commit number, it will take me to that commit. Nice, so obviously yeah. I, I can see it in here, which is fine. It's got the same information we just saw. And what's more interesting is I can see it in the context of the overall history of the of the project. Yeah, that is that is useful, actually. You can see exactly where that is in the history. Very nice. Yeah, and if you wanted to, you could do things like create branches here or, or do whatever you yeah. want on top of that as well. Very nice. Well, thank you very much again, uh, Tricia. You you always teach me something every time we do one of these videos, which is all good. Um, yeah, we may uh, we may or may not record next week, but we're going to try and keep these coming. So thank you again, Tricia. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.